Okay, so you have all the songs in on song. What you want to do now is to know how to play them, arrange them, use them, modify them to suit your purposes. Okay, I'm just going to go into all of my songs. So this is what my song list looks like, and yours will look something similar after it's done. All right. So um, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how to order them in different ways. There'll be this big list here. If you've got a song up, just tap in the middle of the page and the top menu will appear or disappear. The songs menu is, is your big directory. Okay, now if you look bottom left, there's a little A that organizes songs by title. The, the little thing will come up, sort songs by title, artist, when they were added, whether you've starred them or not, whether you're last played, how often you've played them. So you can organize songs in all kinds of different ways. So there's the different artists if that information is stored in the file, which is not always is. When they've been added, this is a particularly handy one. If you want to, all the songs you've just imported, organize them into a little set. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So um, you can order songs in different ways. Star the songs that you might have been looking at of late. These are the ones I've been looking at. And you can star a song by when the song's up, this little top, top right, there's a little star on off. So you can organize songs as to whether you've starred them or not. I've got quite a lot starred there. Um, so that's how you order them. Typically I'll just do it by title or by added if I'm looking to see the ones I've just added to on song. Sometimes they get lost in the system. So that's that. Um, right. I'll go through the other menu things um, with you. If you're looking at a particular song, there are all kinds of options. Look at the top bar up here, the bar that appears or disappears when you tap of the middle of the page. This one is for sharing. You can email a song to someone. You can print it if you've got uh, a compatible printer on your network. And there's all kinds of complicated options as well. I won't go into. So the sharing, you probably won't use the next one. That's for putting onto a screen. Um, you don't really need to use that. This next one is if you want to link it to the, to the original of the song on iTunes. Uh, there's options there. There's options for a metronome and the song duration as well. Uh, then this, this one here is for a foot pedal, which um, you don't need to worry about. Um, this to the right at the top, there's a star unstar, as I already told you. Uh, this edit thing is if the song is in an on-song editable format. I'll cover that in a bit. Um, sticky notes, uh, I've already um, had one on there, I'm going to add another one. This little sticky notes symbol allows you to um, uh, add notes you might want to remember. Down, up, down, up, strum, done. And you grab it and move it if you like, edit it, uh, whatever you like. And then you can just trash it if later if you want by clicking the little garbage thing. You can move it around. Okay, so that's pretty handy for if you haven't done a song for a while and there's something you want to remember about it. A little sticky note there, just get rid of that one. Uh, this little next one, the little sliders, is if uh, it's an on song editable format, which this PDF is not. PDF is super handy for sharing song sh sheets around the club, but it's not great for editing, and on song won't recognize this, so um, I'm going to ignore that. There's a whole settings thing, and it's extensive in OnSong. It's a very powerful piece of software. I'll leave you to explore those um, on your own. Okay. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a little control menu. Um, there are four options. Top left here is for sharing sets wirelessly. You won't have to do that very often. The play button is if you've chosen to link it to an iTunes track you're playing along with, which is handy. There's a metronome. Okay, which uh, should come up if you hold it. You can change the uh, metronome to play along to and set the tempo on or off, tap away. So that's a metronome. Uh, this next button is for scrolling so that you've got the full screen available to you. Uh, this one doesn't scroll. I'll choose this one. It's a crazy little thing called Love. I've got stored as two pages and um, you can set the duration by tapping on this down arrow and holding. Okay, I've already set the duration for that one at 2 minutes and 51 seconds. If you put your finger down and slide it left to right on that box, you can change it. Okay, I'll just put it back to roughly where it was. 
you know, tap away, press the down arrow, and it starts to scroll. You can see it moving now. And what you can do is make it full screen for those of us with poor eyesight. Uh, you can still slide it up and down with your finger. I'm using my finger on the screen here to move it around. But once you let it go, it will keep scrolling again. Okay, so that's if you want to go through a song beginning to end without having to turn the page uh, if you're doing a performance or whatever. Okay, so that's super handy. So those are pretty straightforward, those controls. I'll pause that. And um, I'll tap in the middle of the page to go back to the songs menu. Okay, that's the basic way you use OnSong. Here are all my songs, they're all there. Okay, you can see all kinds of um, songs I've been looking at. Um, now, one useful feature is to organize these into little books or sets, as they call it, for club night or for a band performance or just for a re rehearsal you want to do yourself to organize things in order so you're not looking around and wasting time. So here is a thing called My Sets. I've organized these into folders. Um, just have a look at UK's monthly meetings. Okay, so here are the last few um, meetings. Like there's um, April UK East, uh, and those are in order. Um, I'll show you that you can move those around by clicking on the edit button up there, and then you grab that little three grey stripes, hold it, and I can move songs up and down. I can also delete them if I if I choose, like that. Okay, so, and the thing about this is, once I click on the first one, I just swipe um, right to left to go to the next one. So it's just like having a little book on your iPad all ready to go, so it's super handy. Okay, so let's go back to the songs menu. My sets, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add one. Okay, now the little plus above my sets allows me to add a new set. I'm going to call it new set in the title box here. I can add it to a folder. Uh, you can add folders in the same way. I'll add it to Yuki's monthly meetings. Okay, so now it's asking me to I go into the new set. I will click the plus button at the bottom right to add songs. I'll go into all songs and I'll just add the first four or five here. Click, 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 click. Oops, I didn't want that one. Click it again. I wanted that one. When you're done, you click done, it will show you the songs that you've clicked in your set. If they're not in the order you want, you click edit, you use the little grey bars to move them around, or hit the delete button if you've got one you don't want, then you're done. And there is your set. Okay. If they're in the wrong order, go back in, edit them again. Okay. So that's creating sets. Um, think those are the main... Oh, one more thing. Um, importing songs from the internet. It's, it has a um, uh, connection to ultimateguitar.com, which is a really handy chord site. The way you get to that is to go to Songs, Plus... Oh, hold on. This is for the set. I click on All Songs. There you are. Uh, go to Plus. Go to Internet. Uh, say I wanted a crazy little thing called Love Again. Crazy little. Oh, that should do it. And I'll just hit search. And it goes. Now it's a bit hit and miss. Um, I find that some versions are good, some don't import well, some don't import at all. So what I'll normally do is click a couple. There's two there. I'll import them both. It takes a bit of time. That's done. Now the way I find those straight away is to sort them by added and the two that I've just added will be at the top. So let's have a look at that one. Okay, that looks not too bad. It's nice format, it's got everything I need. Okay. Now, the joy of importing from the internet or adding songs or even editing songs um, manually in OnSong, which I won't cover here because it's a bit more advanced, is that they are um, transposable. So um, this is here, but I don't like the key. I like to play it and sing it in G. This top right slider bar there, which I skipped over before, I can now click on. And there's a whole menu there. You can highlight the chords using this chord highlight 
thing down here I'm showing you and underneath that there's a chord style change the color um, you can change the fonts and I won't mess around with those but most importantly you can um, transpose the key okay so say I um, slid this up so it's in G there you go on the fly it's just changed a crazy little thing called love to G uh, which is genius um, it's absolutely fantastic another little feature since I'm here in this editable format is to click on a chord now it shows you the chord shape click on ukulele uh, and there is a G so if you didn't know a chord you can um, figure it out from here D sharp okay, same as E flat so that's a handy feature. You can also do editable custom chords. This is a bit complicated, um, so I won't get into it, but the more advanced of you might be interested in doing that. You can add your own chords um, and have them show up uh, in there. So um, that's a very powerful thing. Importing from the internet and transposing it on the fly, it's really fantastic. I think that's the main features you need to know about. Good luck, and I'll run through this um, in the little tutorial before Club Night. Cheers.